Hello guys, this is my first time at Config Management and I probably will come back. Um, this is my short uh, talk about um, Jet and Ansible. So there's like a little wordplay. I come from SVA, Systemvertrieb Alexander, from Germany. And yeah, let's go on. Um, so has anyone ever heard of Jet before? Jet Porch? Ah, cool. Okay, some. So yeah, it was uh, founded by uh, Michael Dehan, or created by Michael Dehan, and he was also the founder of Cobble, Funk. Maybe some people know is this Ansible, I guess so, and Opsmops, uh, Opsmop, and Jetporch. Uh, spoiler: It was discontinued. So, what is Ansible's initial success based on? Well, timing. It was really needed at that time to have an uh, easier access to a uh, way to configure. Uh, documentation was great, uh, was many early adopters and visibility in the um, scenes in the uh, community. JetPorch stands for Jet Enterprise Professional Orchestrator and it was uh, it's created for uh, Apple systems and Linux systems and you can install it uh, either from source or uh, with Rust. Um, this is actually for the people who want to watch the video later on. You can um, take a snapshot or just pause the video. These are all of the ones and I will talk about some of these uh, features. Um, many will look very similar, uh, familiar to you. So um, yeah, let's, the basics by JET are, of course, you start with a playbook, you have it in your Git and you write it in your YAML, which uh, JET uses a specific dialect of YAML. And then you have your control machine, then uh, which configures the hosts, um, which you have uh, yeah, configured or defined in your inventory. Uh, playbook uh, syntax looks pretty much the same. Um, as you can see, we got groups, keywords, tasks, handlers, and different roles. So as an Ansible uh, yeah, veteran, or how do you say this, like someone who's very proficient, it should not be very um, new to you. Um, here's like a very basic playbook. You can see the structure, and you, you got here, for example, the groups, uh, which yeah are defined in the inventory, for example, and the tasks. Um, this is uh, another example where you use rules, uh, roles. So if you look in the middle or on the bottom, and um, yeah, from the get-go, it's pretty much very adoptable for Ansible users. Uh, if we take a look now uh, onto tasks, you see that there's uh, on the first line there's a uh, module call um, with a YAML tag. This is kind of uh, different, and um, yeah, this is part of the syntax in JET. However, it does pretty much do the same as uh, the way you do it in Ansible. And here we got variables, for example, where you uh, have this location, the path defined. However, uh, in JET, um, variables are um, um, processed by Rust handlebars. So I'm not very proficient in Rust, but it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so the question is, yeah, um, it's not this is the same picture. And um, corporate says yes, um, but maybe some users with, would say no. Um, there are differences. Um, so some of them are here listed in one second or two, yeah. So it's written in Rust. It integrates for other programming languages. It was uh, Michael Dahan's idea. That's more open to other uh, developers. Um, it does use template, templating through Rust handlebars. It, it can be used agentless or with an agent, and it should always be community-driven. And it had on the roadmap this idea of a so-called planetary scale. So the idea was that you could like scale this up, like uh, exponentially. Um, however, this was not realized um, because uh, what happened. Uh, Jet ended very early, uh, very suddenly. Uh, so one day before Christmas, uh, he announced the end of the project. And then beginning of January, the blog entry, which with the announcement was gone, the project page was gone, the source hardware repository was gone, and Discord was only on read only. What happened? A uh, short version is he said, I just stopped. Um, but there are two reasons that make sense. The first one was that the echo, like the feedback was not that big from the community. And the second reason was he had no personal um, usage for such a tool. So Michael Dehan pretty much uh, yeah, said bye. This is a meme by my colleague, uh, Niklas Werker. He has also a talk today here. Please visit him. This is his idea. I think it's uh, on point. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, just jet, a more long vie au jet. Basically means that jet is dead, long live jet. So what do we do? Um, the repo is, uh, there's a, a mirror repo repository on GitHub you can use, so it's not really dead, of course it's open source, we can pick it up. 
and um, should we actually uh, pick it up? Uh, is it actually needed? And I would say yes, yes, yes. Um, not because Ansible is broken or anything, but it's always good to have a, a competing uh, idea. It, we, don't, we should never um, opt into monopolization of things. If they run smoothly, it's good, but it's always good to have like, different ideas coming up. Thank you for your attention. Uh, that was uh, very nice. And talk to me, please, later on. Thank <laughs> you.